Jesus! Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Jar Red Gaming. Welcome to a game called Martha. This game was provided to me by developer Chris Willis and the Game Development World Championship. The GDWC is a yearly competition for game developers to kind of get their games out there and showcase. It's also sort of a competition where game developers can kind of win some stuff. If anyone here watching is a game developer and kind of wants to get involved in that, or if you just kind of want to see what the GDWC is all about, there's a link down in the description where you can go and visit the website and check that out. There you can check out the fan favorite weekly vote where there are, where there are like nine games that you know everyone can vote on each week. If that sounds like something that you guys want to check out again, go check out that link. Now, I really don't know that much about this game. This is one of the games that was provided to me for this particular collab. So let's just dive straight in and see what it's all about. 1st of March, 1996, I find myself driving down a long dark road just west of the Endear Mountains. I haven't heard from my close friend and colleague, Jack Myers, in weeks. Jack is a journalist for the Windmere Metro Times, who is hellbent on writing a feature article on the supposed curse of the Albrecht estate. Albert and Martha Albrecht, a married couple who were both reclusive academics, mysteriously vanished, and the house lay abandoned since the late 1960s. Due to its remote location and stigmatized history, the house was purchased from the state trustee by the Burkhardt family in June of 1994. The Burkhardt's occupation was perhaps short-lived as nobody has heard from this family in nearly two years. The Andia police claim to have the situation under investigation, but there is something that seems amiss in all of this, sparking Jack's interest in the bizarre case and what locals have referred to as the Albrecht Curse. Jack left two weeks ago for Andir to begin investigating the story. My last call from Jack was just over one week ago. He rang from the payphone in Andir town and said he was having trouble finding the house, as it were seemingly in the middle of nowhere. I'm not going to wait around for another lackluster investigation by local law enforcement. I'm going to find out for myself. Our last mistake, no doubt. And here we are. It's quite foggy. We are some, for some reason, we're behind our car and not in it. I can't believe my car cut out like that. That might be old Albrecht House. Either way, I need to see if I can use the phone. Ooh, you mean the house laden in fog and mystery? <gasps> A note. Barry Sinclair, Barry's Handyman Emporium, dear Barry, the old Albrecht House. I'm just writing to you in regards to the old Albrecht's place. Thanks for taking the job. I know it's a little out of your way. I'll have the secretary send you through directions in the next couple of days. I think I can pick up the house up absolute steal from the public trustee. Nobody has seen or heard from the buyer cards for another uh, couple of years, and obviously they can no longer pay the mortgage. If a report comes back, and I think it should, I can get the bank seller to lower the price substantially. I know you install above board when all these inspections, but if you happen to find a new few defects with the structure, that would be music to my ears. I heard the house might have a few issues with the electrical work, as the place seems to chew the juice. Hmm. Anyway, if you could do me a solid dummy, I'll find that would be great. Looking forward to your report. Regards, Phil Anderson. Thanks, Phil. You're a peach. A little creepy. Hello? Ooh. <laughs> well, that's some nice, creepy, ambient music to let, let us get kind of started. It's really dark. Excuse me, is this a police car? Police car looks like it's been here a while. Strange it would be left here. Very strange indeed. Anyone home? Do I have a flashlight or anything? That would be super. Super duper. Seems we are expected. Oh well, no need to knock, I guess. Yes, because that's what that means. That's what that means. If the door is just open, it means you can just walk straight in. Do I hear a phone ringing? Light switch, can I use? Nope, it's just super dark. I have no idea where the phone is because I can't see anything. This house, the lights are all on, but it's so dim like the power is drained. So it's supposed to be like that. Can I light some candles? Need something to light it with. We need matches. Why didn't we come with matches? Ooh, creaky, creaky. Is the phone upstairs? Oh, it's right here. Pfft. Ooh. Okay, the phone exploded. There's so many notes. It's too many notes. It's too many notes. Hey, kids, I know your mother hasn't been quite herself lately. She's sleeping upstairs. Great. Take. It's all lists of things to do. It's all honeydew lists. Is this the key? Oh, get out. Great. <laughs> Shouldn't we just leave then? I mean, clearly we are not welcome here. Oh, what did I just step on? Oh, a chair that I couldn't see. <gasps> what was that? There was locked. I don't have the key. What do you mean? I just picked up a key. I wish it wasn't so dark. Ooh. Oh, hello. Come to the door. 
Martha version 2.1. Thank you for playing Martha. You can save your progress here. What? My progress has been saved. Oh, it's okay. Thanks, Martha. My progress has apparently been saved. Where's the radio? I can't. Oh, it's a gramophone thing. Turn it off. I don't like it. Grandma upstairs is pissed. The music's. Duh. The music's too loud. Grandma's pissed. Oh, okay, okay. It's a nice slow door. Bathroom. You're next! That's not good. I don't want to be next unless it's me leaving. All I can do is leave when whoever follows this note and hope for the best. There's something in this house. It is relentless. It will follow you. You can't kill it. You can't hide. I thought I killed it. It keeps coming back, stalking me. Hit and run, hit and run. It can't stay long, but will always return. Whatever you do, do not let it get close. Great. What do you mean? The music stopped. Okay, this house is freaking huge, first of all. I think we need to go upstairs. Hello? Oh. I need some matches. I need to make some light, because it's too dark. Oh, is that light? Is this light being provided to me with the creepy ambiance? Hi, are you Martha? Can I have? Okay. Physical astral projection. A powerful mind can cast themselves at short range to walk as an entity outside the physical body. In some cases, this apparition can even interact with the physical world. When the apparition is subject to physical trauma, the conscious being will return to the physical body. Fantastic. I still can't see anything. Why is there a creepy jack-o'-lantern? I don't care for that. And a knife. I need something to light this with. You mean the jack-o'-lantern or the candle or the knife? I would like to leave. I'm going out the window. Oh, this door, this door is boarded. I need something to break this with. Wonderful. So I need to light candles and break boards, and I have no tools to do any of these things. Door is locked. All the doors are locked. Am I supposed to go outside, maybe? Or maybe go up into the attic? Oh, is this, I bet you this is where Martha lives. It's locked. Of course it is. Jesus! Where did the front door go? I don't know. I wasn't looking at the front door. Just go out a window, dude. Like, seriously. <laughs> Break a window and leave. Where do I... I picked up a key, but what for? First aid kit? Oh, no. I'm not keen to this door. Oh, that's blood. Good, I'm sure glad it's locked. Okay, piano. Why? Ooh, a key. Second house key. What was the first house key for? Ah, ooh. A new room. Oh. Scrap of paper looks like part of a code? What code? Handgun bullets? Well, where's the gun? I have bullets and no gun. Why? Gun, gun, I need a gun. I need a gun right now. Oh, I have a flashlight. This whole time we've had a flashlight and I didn't even realize it because this game did not tell me. That book just disappeared. Hmm. It disappeared again. And again. <laughs> I think it's a glitch. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh good, another key. That's not good. Basement key, great. That's what I wanted. Why do I want a basement key? That sounds like the last thing I want to do is go to the basement. Are we going to release something? Like, they went through a lot of trouble to lock this place up pretty tight. It's Martha, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, Martha, 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 Martha. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gun. Oh, I have gun. Local cop looks like he's been here a while. Oh, wow. What do I need a... What do I need a gun for anyways? Like, are we fighting zombies? L look, oh, electronic keypad might need to unlock... Oh, my. That's what the code is that we've been finding bit bits for. I need a green fuse. Really? This game is all about keys and fuses and notes. Martha, you in there? Oh, yeah, you're definitely in there. Okay, so I found a gun, but no more keys. Oh. 
Oh, them some bloody footprints. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. It's locked. Do I follow the footprints? Maybe we'll find a key. They just end or they start. Oh, here's a key. The keys are so hard to find. Office key. Great. Why is there so many keys? Why can't we just kick doors down? Office. This has got to be the office, right? Yes. Oh, what's this? I have to put away current weapon or drop object? What? So I can't have a shovel and my gun? Are you serious? Here we go. Oh, we have an inventory. Okay. This would have been nice to have known. Okay. So we've got a revolver and we've got a shovel. And now another key. To the back door. We're we going outside. We going digging, aren't we? What? 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 Oh hi! Hi! Oh! Oh, why are you Oh my Jesus! Oh! Oh! Jesus! Back door. Back door. Oh my god. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Let me out! Close! Are you not gonna close? Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh, she's horrible. Stay dead! Oh my god, what do I do? Are you kidding me? Oh! She popped! Oh my god. Okay. So she does die, but she must come back eventually. Jesus, why do we even need to come out here? Don't have the key, of course. Oh, give me those bullets. Yeah, boy, gonna need them. Some kind of intercom. Stop moving shit, please. An old safe. Looks like there's some symbols engraved on the door. Oh. What? Are you serious? Oh my god, we barely had any time to do anything. A lighter. What can I do with a lighter? Does it keep them away? Okay, let's light some of these candles. Ooh. Why? Oh. Oh, so that's how we get the code to the safe. So that means I have to go around and light all these freaking things while this bitch tries to come and kill me. Great. I is zero. Oh, where are we? Oh my. Oh! Oh, it's a dead dude and a shotgun. Oh, heck yeah. Sorry you dead, dude, but... I'm sorry I did the best I could, but I didn't leave you much. Bless that bitch with the shotgun. Seemed to knock her flat, but won't just, but it won't kill her. Nothing will apparently. Little symbol is th that symbol is three. Oh, we're outside again. Nice. And we got RV camper key. Nice. We got some outbuildings here. Of course, it's locked. What is this? I need all three objects. What objects? Coins required are three. The first sits beneath the tree. The second resides in a metal box, while the third is present in a prisoner's cot. What is this place with these riddles? Ah, uh, another symbol for five. We can probably figure out the code from there. Okay, code, code, code. Let's put in a code. Oh, it's going to be three, zero, four, s something five. <laughs> Three five, three zero four one five, three zero four one five, and a guest house key. Yeah, baby. All right, let's go check out the RV. What do we have here? A blue fuse. To who, who, to whoever finds us, we locked ourselves up in the camper. Things seem to be confined to the property. We slept in the guest house last night. Feel safer out here. Emily's lost cause. She's now the power of something else. The guilt eats away at me when I had to do it. Boarded her up in that room. None of the cars work. We're headed on foot. Hope it doesn't follow. I'm guessing you guys are screwed. Another piece of the code. Nice. So let's go into the guest house. There's supposed to be a coin beneath a tree somewhere. 
I don't know if we can get there now. Shit. Shit. Bitch. I don't think so, mother bitch. Shotgun for the win. What? Why? Why is there a dog? Why is there a freaking wolf? Okay, screw it. Let's find... The ground here seems recently disturbed. Ah, right here. Oh, and we have a coin. Yeah. Well, that's one coin. Stupid wolf. Freaking make me waste my shotgun ammo. Oh, another dead person. Shit, another dead person must be the truck out front. He needs to get out of here if it still works. It probably doesn't work. Come on. I must kill her. There is simply no other way to stop the true evil she has become. Martha has used her abilities to lure people to the house. Her desire to take control has become impossible to contain. I have tried my best to turn Martha back from the path to evil, but she seems to have no intention to change. She merely keeps me alive to do her bidding. I have become a slave to her insanity. I need to escape. I don't think you did. What? Why? Are you dead dead, though? Jeez. Oh, good. I've got fuel. What do I need fuel for? Great. And what key am I going to find in here? Oh, no. I found a fuse. Nice. Now we got to go all the way. I should probably take the fuel out of here, though, because I'm probably going to need it. Oh, I bet there's a generator, right? This door is supposedly opened by electricity or something. I'll leave it up here for now in case I need it. But I'm going to go back into the basement and try to use these fuses that we found. I'm sure this cop down here is going to come to life. Might as well use my shovel. Green fuse. Blue fuse. Let me guess. The switch is over here. He comes to life. Oh, this is for the key code. Oh, maybe the fuses open that door outside. It said it was electrical. Bitch. Crap. 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 Oh my god. I bet I should just whack her with the shovel when she's down on the ground. What am I doing wasting my ammo? Now this idiot is out here. Let's try to whack him with the shovel. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Oh my god. Why are we so slow? Why are we so slow? Quick, 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 quick. Let me in. Oh, good. What? Why? All right, more of the code. He's back alive. We got an axe. Hopefully this is better. Gosh. Say nine, zero, two, three. Not oh, it's five numbers for real. Okay, so I'm guessing the axe is to get these boarded doors open. Any more dead people? Another part of the code. Oh, good. A bathtub full of blood. Jesus! What the fuck? Heh, <laughs> take that, son of a bitch. That's what you get for scaring me. I'll take your key, though. After I look in here for a second. Cell key. This is the one in the basement. Okay, cell. Let me in. What kind of creepiness? Oh, good. Another dead thing, which is probably going to come to life and try to kill me. And a key. Eating the key coin. Hi. Ooh. I'm gonna... <laughs> I wasted that shot. Damn it. What? Traitor? Who left the radio on? Hi, dude. Yep, I know. Oh, okay, the music just stops. Hi, you okay? Jesus. <laughs> Why did they take so many shots? I don't get it. Like, what's the point of having a shotgun if you don't just kill things? Wow. 
Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Oh, and this guy too, for real. Oh my god. Ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh no, oh no, oh god. Oh damn. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I could not find. Oh my gosh, I could not find whatever I needed to do to save my life. I, I've run out of time, unfortunately. I don't think I'm going to be able to find out what I'm going to do. I really like this game. It's really creepy. Um, and it kind of keeps you having to move. It feels like it could almost be like a co-op game. Um, some of those co-op horror games, if there was co-op, this would work really well for that. My only gripe would be it's really hard to find the keys. They're really hard to see. Maybe they need to glow a different color or something. But other than that, there's a pretty solid little horror game. And I'm really glad that I was given the chance to give it a try. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and a comment and let me know what you guys thought. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon and I'll see you in the next video.